Imagine you are dancing at a party and you want to invite your friend across the room to join you. Instead of shouting, you decided to mentally send him a message that only he will receive. This is known as a web socket. Web sockets are the magical sticks of the internet, enabling real-time communication without all the shouting and waiting around. In other words, web socket is a communication protocol that provides communication over a single long-lived connection. Let's take an example. Imagine a chat application where you send and receive messages. If it was up to a simple HTTP connection, you would have to fetch data using REST API calls again and again. Using web sockets, we make a connection between server and the client. The connection lives on forever unless we destroy the connection. Any message we send gets to server instantly. Any message the server sends gets to the client instantly without any latency. Let's see how to send a message from client to server and from server to client using web sockets. We are going to use socket.io, which is a library for web sockets. Let's set up our Node.js server where to install socket.io library. Import HTTP module from HTTP and server from socket.io. From the HTTP, make a server using the create server function and store its instance in the server variable. Now let's create a new socket out IO server by using server instance as the first parameter. Using this IO, we will use the connection event key to establish the connection. We will also pass the callback function that will return as an object which we can use to receive data from the client using socket.on or on. To send a message to the client, we will have to use socket.emit with the event key, which is message. We are just passing a simple hello message. Let's start the server using server.listen with a port number of 3000 and a simple console log to show that our server is running. Now on the client side, we need to use the socket.iocdn in our HTML file. And we have a script file linked up to. In the client index file, let's make our connection using io, store the connection instance in a socket variable. Now to connect, just do socket.on with the connect event. And to receive messages, do socket.on with the message event key. And to send any message to server, we do socket.emit with the data event key. Remember, the event key from server emit function and the event key from socket.on function on the client side will be the same, which is message in our case. This was WebSockets using socket.io. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.